Thanks for watching Way 31 News at 10. I'm Greg Privet. We wanted to know what people here in the Valley think about this record breaking shutdown and when it might end. Way 31 Sierra Phillips is live in Huntsville with what people are expecting next from the shutdown. Sierra? Greg, here in Huntsville, a city with an abundance of federal employees, people on both sides of the aisle agree they don't know when the shutdown will end, but they disagree on whether the shutdown could be a good thing. I don't know when it's going to end. I think it'll end when, um, when it's supposed to end. Friday, a third of federal employees failed to get their paychecks. The first time it's happened during the shutdown. Despite no paychecks, some folks say it's worth it. I think right now what's going on is necessary. While others say not so much. Most people live uh, paycheck to paycheck, and I don't know what they're going to do. Their mortgage comes due, their utilities come due, they've got to they've got to have food. I talked on the phone with Tom Ryan with the Madison County Democrats. He told me it'll take one thing for the shutdown to end. If the Senate will get a spine and go ahead and do what they did on December 18th and pass that bill, send it back over to the House. The House can send it back over to the Senate, and the government opens up. On the other side of the political aisle, Republican Sam Gavan says he's not seeing the finish line. I don't see where uh, either side is, is going to give in in the short term. I'm not sure how this is long this is going to last. Also not seeing an end in sight, Many people I talked with today say the situation could be beyond compromise. Because they are both ironclad at keeping what they have. For now, a lot of folks here in Huntsville are keeping their eyes on Washington to see what happens next. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News.